I'm Dan Galpin, and welcome to part two of a special Google I.O. 2025 edition of Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in Android development. This second edition covers the latest from Jetpack Compose, camera and media, accessibility, Kotlin multi-platform, Android development tools, and Google Play. This year brings a host of new Jetpack Compose features, including autofill support, auto-sizing text, visibility tracking, accessibility checks in tests, and a new Animate Bounds modifier. Animate Bounds provides automatic animations of a composable's position and size within a look-ahead scope. While visibility tracking is used when you need high-performance information on a composable's position in its root container, screen, or window. For more on autofill, auto-sized, and the new state-based text field, check out the Mastering Text Input in Compose Talk. Navigation 3 is a brand new Compose First navigation library, now in alpha, that's designed to give you greater control while simplifying building complex navigation flows. It's fully customizable, with built-in support for advanced transitions and adaptive apps. To learn more about Navigation 3, head over to the Jetpack Navigation 3 post. Accessible UIs with Jetpack Compose covers how Compose facilitates accessibility and how you can use it to build apps that are usable by everyone. And check out what's new in Compose for a deep dive into all of the new Compose goodness, including the new Compose support in Camera X and Media 3. Speaking of Camera X and Media 3, the seamless video capture, editing, and playback with Camera X and Media 3 session covers how you can use them together with LightRT to create video capture, sharing, and editing apps with custom effects. And there's more media goodness in the recent Building Delightful Android Camera and Media Experiences post. In the open source Androidify app, you can see Camera X and Media 3 in Compose, combined with Material 3 Expressive, Navigation 3, ML Kit, and the Firebase AI Logic SDK powered by Gemini 2.5 Flash and Imagine 3 to build an adaptive app that utilizes motion and transitions to instill a real sense of fun. Read more about it in three posts that cover the features of the app, how it was built with Compose, and how it leverages AI. Speaking of AI, what's new in Android development tools highlighted the latest in Gemini for app development, including the Upgrade Assistant for automating updating all libraries with Gemini, writing and executing integration tests using Journeys, using agents to automatically fix issues and generate code, and automatically building Compose previews. The recently released Gemini and Android Studio for Businesses showed off the enterprise-ready version of these AI features. The talk also covers the latest in Firebase device streaming with Device Partner Labs, major improvements in ADB over Wi-Fi, interactively resizable Compose previews, and support for manually calling backup and restore. They demoed a preview of Studio in a cloud instance through Firebase, as well as backing up and syncing Studio settings for easier movement between development machines. Build updates include gradual R8, phase sync, fused libraries, and the specification of the JDK for the Gradle daemon toolchain. Android Studio will warn you if your app isn't ready for 16 KV page sizes. It has new lint checks to help find KTX methods to simplify your code. And it can audit the app for Google Play policy insights to help you understand publishing aspects for your app. Speaking of Google Play, what's new in Google Play covered the latest Play Console updates, including new Android Vitals metrics monetization updates to help you grow revenue, the latest in play integrity and security features, how play is making it more engaging and fun for users to find the apps they want, including new content formats for your listings, and updates to the Engage SDK, helping you bring your app content to more device surfaces. Finally, the session covered the latest updates for game developers, including V2 of Play Game Services and expanded support for play games on PC, with more native PC games coming. Play has a dedicated talk covering the Play Game Services changes, as well as a talk that covers how to grow your business. Make sure not to miss the talk on key accessibility updates, best practices for using the web in your Android apps, the new Kotlin First SDK for photorealistic 3D maps, and we're doing more for Kotlin multi-platform, including new Android Studio templates, KMP support, and more Jetpack libraries, and a dedicated I.O. talk. 
that's it for part two of our IO coverage and now in Android, including updates to Jetpack Compose, camera and media, accessibility, Kotlin multi-platform, Android development tools, Google Play, and more. And just in case you missed it, part one included coverage of Material Expressive, watches, cars, tablets, laptops, connected displays, the latest in adaptive app development, XR development, AI, and Android 16. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. And come back soon for the latest updates from the Android developer universe.